Shoulder AC joint injury is a common sporting injury. It is often caused by a direct blow or fall onto the shoulder, as shown here with a hard landing from the bike. In severe cases, this injury can cause ongoing pain with daily activities involving certain shoulder movements and weight bearing. It's also characterized by a painful irritable prominence at the end of the collarbone. The SC joint connects the acromion from the shoulder blade to clavicle the collarbone. A direct blow to the acromion can disrupt several ligaments holding the AC joint in place. The SC joint is held together with the chromioclavicular ligament and the coracoclavicular ligament. In particular, the coracoclavicular ligament helped to resist excessive up and down movement of the clavicle. These ligaments were torn during injury resulting in separation or dislocation of the AC joint and a prominent clavicle. The joint can often be reduced by pushing down on the collarbone and by lifting up the weight of the arm. However, without restoring the damaged ligament, the joint will remain unstable and dislocate again once the pressure is off. The severity of the injury are classified into six types, from mild sprain to complete separation of the joint, depending on the degree of ligament injury. This X-ray shows a type 5 dislocation of the same patient. Note the complete separation of the joint and the prominent end of clavicle. Most of these injuries can be treated without surgery. The aim is to support the weight of the arm in a sling for comfort initially and minimize movement in the first few weeks to allow ligament healing. Next phase will involve physio exercises to restore shoulder movement and gradually the strain over two to three months. In severe cases such as type 4 to 6 dislocation, Surgery is indicated for persisting pain and functional limitations. One of the surgical procedures is to use a hook plate to help reduce and stabilize the joint to allow ligament healing. Chronic cases where tendon healing is unreliable, tendon graft is used to reconstruct the ligament. The plate is then removed after a few months with a second surgery. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave comment below if you had this type of injury and let me know how it's going.